This is our 2005 CNC reverse load. It's 11 quarters in. Um, it has a 33, just over a 33 foot floor in it. Uh, I think it's a 14 foot long wall in the living quarters here. It is winter here. Everything has been winterized. Um, so I'll be running the water. This is the master bed. Um, it is a king size at the bottom here. It's tapered to fit the nose. There's storage behind the pillows there. A couple cabinets. TV. Lighting has the soft touch uh, walls. Storage under the steps there. Bathroom is in the front left corner. Sink, medicine cabinet, hand towel, shower. You can see that it is hanging down because I drained it and that pink and dirt stuff is from me winterizing it. Another hand towel, cabinet, towels, towel rack up high, towel rack down low, full length mirror in the in the door, the refrigerator, microwave, TV, VCR, satellite, counter space, small cabinet here for food and supplies, large walk-in closet basically, two racks, one lower, one upper, it goes ways back in here, I think it's about six foot long, bunk bed, Runs the full width from back there. It runs at an angle, so it is eight foot six long and two and a half foot wide. Another storage closet below the bunk bed. The secondary water is in the bottom part of that. Another cabinet there. There's drawers here for storage. There's another storage down here and under there is a Dirt Devil central back with a brand new water heater and a full tank. The controls for your water heater, it does have an electric and a propane water heater. Bed does fold out into a full, full uh, bed. I'm one-handed. I'm not gonna try to. More drawers, storage. Refrigerator. Freezer. There is three hat racks up there. More cabinets. And a fourth hat rack back by the bunk bed. As I said, it's a reverse load. There's the ramp double doors up top and close the ramp when we bought this trailer a few years ago it did appear that there hadn't been any horses loaded in these first two stalls floor is dirty we keep it, keep it cleaned out as best we can in the winter time it was mattress pulled this fall and power washed out of here where it's freezing every night, it's hard to wash it out without getting everything iced up. Bars on all the windows, on all the drop down windows. Two rear doors or windows.
this spring assisted to pick up. New tires on it, they are the 17.5, two 1575s, new Michelins, aluminum wheels on it, and tires have less than 3,000 miles on them. There's a hay pod, generator. Got the rear tack full. This is a full rear tack. So, large four foot door. Lights in, in the tack area and on the exterior. Full blanket rack. Sorry about that on the video. There is storage and a couple shelves. We got our table back there. Tire ramp. Um, does have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blanket bars. A ton of racks or hooks for bridles and a four saddle saddle rack on it battery for the a secondary or a third battery on this trailer for the generator is under this bottom saddle rack there three drawers on there three wheels on the on the rear door this ladder to And the driver's side or left side of the trailer it does stay plugged in when we're not using it. All the windows and bars it has the uh, large aluminum American made hinges on all, everything. There is four. Doors under the feeders with hooks in them, and one large one. There is lights under under or under the feeders. There is exterior lights on both sides. Here's the secondary or another water I think that's another 50 gallon 